Okay guys, after the Al-Azhar Mosque and the University, we are here at the Citadel and the Mosque Abul Hassan entrance. They're in the same compound. As you can see, we're walking over the, you know, up the hill. It's a pretty decent walk. Let's see how, if they have any entrance fees or anything, but uh, let's check it out. And once we go up there, we have a very nice view of the city. Okay guys, talk to you soon. Okay, so once you pass the security gate, guys, you have to walk through these steps. You can see the minaret. And this big column of the castle over here. These walls are very, very thick. That's where the city of Cairo downtown is located. Alright guys, to enter the Citadel of Sultan Waddin, a UOB, and that is uh, 200, 200 Egyptian pounds for visitors, 100 pounds for students. And then you have to go through the security gates. That's why you go ahead. Hey guys. Okay guys, after showing the ticket to the gentleman, uh, we are inside now, the castle of Saladin, and by the way, they, we have some souvenirs and some hookah bottles and everything, they kept it for, you know, for us. They said we cannot take them inside. Come back and pick it up from us. I said, all right. So it's like a courtyard and orchard. Kind of park in the middle of the castle. They are doing some major renovation over here, guys. You can see some things are falling apart. So they're trying to restore the wall. They're giving us support. Over here, there's the National Military Museum. Beautiful mosque over here, guys. called the mosque Abul Hassan. It just looked like a Turkish style mosque. Alright sure the guys this is the Sultan Abul Hassan mosque which kind of represent the Turkish style. And right next to it is the Sultan, yeah, it's Abul Qawm Kalum Mosque. So it is from the Mamluk era, and this one is from the Ottoman era. Okay, now we're going towards the viewing area of the city. From here, you can see the whole city of Cairo, guys. Big courtyard over here. There's another view of the mosque. 
Beautiful clock tower over there inside the mosque. And this is the old Cairo guys in front of us. ceremony going on, wedding pictures are being taken. So I guess there's a wedding going on over here guys in the middle of the courtyard at the Sultan Abul Hassan Mosque. Beautiful setting. This kind of reminds me of the Blue Mosque in Istanbul obviously because it was built by the Ottomans. That's the ovulation area right there. Where you wash yourself before you go for prayer. I guess these uh, people are for guests. We're gonna come for the wedding later on. Now we're gonna go into the great hall of this mosque. This is amazing, guys. Amazing. Just look at this. Simply amazing. Look at the roof, guys. Right over here, what's your name, sir? Sir, I am Adil, I'm Egyptian, I'm to guide here in the Citadel, and I'm telling you um, about the Egyptian history, about so this is the amazing mosque of Muhammad Ali. Okay, so, so the special mosque of Egypt, so this is uh, actually um, the mosque, it's built on the top of the Citadel. So this is in the beginning of the Citadel, it's built in the 11th century. Okay. This is where when and Saladin, so he's a Iraq um, leader, he, he came to Egypt and he arranged the castle um, of his soldiers. And actually, after the Mamluks, all of his soldiers, they ruled Egypt. Okay. Um, they had been here in Egypt Muslim and they were trained here in the camp and they had become Muslim and so the general of the Egyptian government. Okay. That. So, so it has and two members, the original member of Muhammad Ali, and this is the special, special member of the Kidif of Muhammad Ali. Kids of Muhammad Ali? Yeah. Okay. Look at this chandelier, guys. Are you Muslim? Alhamdulillah. So those are the name of the... For so the candles, if you count the candles. And guys, according to my guide, these, you know, we count these uh, small candles over here, that comes to 365. Look at this chandelier, guys. Beautiful. This mosque is called Mosque Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali went to Egypt and Sudan, yeah. close to country. After he fought Sudan, to join Sudan with Egypt, a foreign country. Okay. He ruled for 44 years. He ruled for 44 years? 44 years, yeah. Okay. 
Muhammad Ali before he had followed the Ottoman orders, but after he came to Egypt and he fought the, with the Mamluks here, he, he fell in the killing. And after that, Muhammad Ali he aided all of his weapons to occupy one, one stone of marble. So, according to my guide, these pillars and these columns are made of stones and covered by marble and they didn't use any concrete or anything just stones and this is the grave of muhammad ali who ruled egypt for 40 some years how many years he ruled 44 44 years this is his grave right here guys He used to take orders from the Ottomans and after he came to Egypt, he united Egypt with Sudan and he fought against the Mamluks. And then after that, he stopped taking orders from the Ottomans. So this is the guy, uh, guys, this is another courtyard, a big, uh, open area right outside the Sultan Mahmud Ali Mosque. Yeah, you see that mosque over there? My guide just told me that mosque with the minaret and the dome is called Tulane Mosque. That mosque is 1200 years old and I miss that. I wish I had more time and I could go and visit one day. This is the old Thank <laughs> you.